Hey, so we're going to be doing the foundation routine. I apologize if the sound is off. I have like this new mic. I'm still trying to figure out how to work it and I just ordered a windscreen, but let's get into this tutorial. This is just simply a foundation routine. My foundation routine, routine um, changes every season. So I will be uploading like winter, summer, and spring. This is my spring one. I've already prepped my skin. The Fenty Skin, her Vaporizer Moisturizer. This is a really good one. Um, I believe it's like 30 bucks. It has an SPF of 35, um, and it's very hydrating in the scent. It doesn't give like a fragrance, it's like a fresh scent. Also used her, um, what is it? I used her face wash, which is really creamy and really hydrating. So you always wanna prep your skin. The way your skin is prepped is the way that the makeup is gonna lay. I'm going to take this Charlotte Tillsbury. This is her Magic Eye Rescue. I'm actually using a lot. You don't need this much, but I'm actually using a lot. I always apply the eye cream underneath my eyes just because that concealer is thick and underneath my underneath your eyes the skin layer of skin under here is really really thin so I think it's really nice to just keep it nice and hydrated I'm gonna be using the NARS natural radiant foundation it's really creamy I think it's perfect for spring and before I just want to give it a good shake and I'm going to be using my Fenty foundation brush I love this brush because it's dense, but it can also, it's dense and it can really get into like the crevices of your face. Um, and it blends the liquid products really well. NARS has some of the best face products for, well, foundation complexion products for women of color. Their bronzer, but as far as their foundation, they have great, 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 great products. Well, great complexion um, products. So I'm just gonna distribute the foundation evenly on my face. And the foundation is just simply to even out my skin tone and to kind of give me like a flawless base, if that makes sense. I always use a few pumps. They're like, you just need, you just need one pump, one pump. Like one pump does not do it. I have a big face, okay? A few pumps. And this is just my foundation routine, so I'm not going to do any eyes. I just put on like a light eyeshadow. I do not wear foundation every day. This is a foundation routine, which to me and my and my um, words mean this is what I do when I put on a full face of foundation. I do not wear foundation every day. Foundation is not mandatory for every day. Well, I don't think it is. Um, you are very free to form your own opinion, but um, yeah, this is just. Um, my my foundation routine okay so after we have our foundation on the nars creamy radiant foundation as you can see it gave me a nice even base i love 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 nars complexion products i'm going to be taking another nars product i just used in my recent video i am going to be taking where is it mm, here it is <laughs> nars creamy radiant in the shade Amad. I love this concealer because it's creamy, I have dry skin, and I don't want something too, too dry underneath my eyes because that thin layer, thin layer of um, skin that we have under there. And then the applicator, I feel that it pulls out the right amount. So now what I'm doing my foundation is I take a concealer of the color of my skin or close to the color of your skin and I just like to conceal. I just like to conceal. So this is going to conceal any spots that the foundation did not cover. Also, what it's going to do is when I highlight, because I like a bright highlight, is this going to prevent me from having a flashback. So when I take a photo with a flash, this kind of helps prevent that. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you put on the powder that has like a talc in it, you know, you, you might be in trouble. But this, for me, helps me prevent a flashback and conceals the rest of what the foundation did not do. I'm gonna take a beauty sponge that I did not damp. I thought I got up and wet this thing. Okay, I did not damp it. And I'm just going to blend that out. Okay. 
Okay, so this is my foundation so far. So we have our found we have our skincare, we have our skin prepped, then we also have our foundation, we have our concealer. So now we're just kind of like one tone, right? So then now we're gonna go in and we are going to use the this is um one of the concealers right here. This is the Huda Beauty. What is it? the Huda Beauty High Coverage Creamy Concealer? This is in the shade Toasted Almond. And I like this one because of its applicator. So like this little metal thing right here on top of it is actually pretty cooling. And I really like the colors. I like that warm, I like the, the yellowness in my concealer when I am highlighting. I think that yellow just looks really good on a deeper skin tone. So I'm only highlighting in the inner part of my face where the light attracts, of course. And I kind of just keep my highlight here, like right here by the bridges of my nose, as you can see. I don't like to drag it all the way out because you're going to move the product. I forgot his name. I learned it from somebody on YouTube. But it made very, very, very much sense to me. So you could just leave it here. Let me show you. Um, as you blend, you see how I'm blending? It's going to stretch anyway, right? So I feel like there's no point of putting it like when people just how they used to, right? Because it's going to stretch. And you see how it's stretched and it blends so nicely? This concealer looks like skin. Crazy. This is crazy. Yeah, you don't even have to like because it's the product is going to stretch. So y'all have like a lot of updated videos coming, I have a lot of videos coming. My upload dates are Mondays and Saturdays. I'm going to try to do Mondays 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and Saturday I'm not for sure, but it's going to be Mondays and Saturdays as upload dates. Um, okay, so then now I have that blended Charlotte um, Airbrush Flawless Powder in number two. I like the yellow tint. This is like a translucent powder, but it is like yellow. And I want to try to hurry up and go in and set that to try to prevent the creasing under the eye. And I don't bake. Remember that whole baking thing? And I love the Laura powder, but the Laura powder for me and my routine and my life is, is more for, um, it is more for my glam. So when I make my, my other, you know, videos, like it's like more glam, you'll see me use it. But this powder here is so nice, but it is super, super finely, finely, finely milled. So it's very thin. So if you drop it, it's over with for you. It's going to break. So if you get this powder, just try not to drop it. So I just like to press it in the skin and I'm just using um, a Charlotte. It's like a big old powder or like blush brush bronzer brush whatever and I just like to press it in the skin I don't bake I honestly I did the baking thing but I kind of just wasn't really that much into it honestly speaking on a bronze this is my favorite bronzer and it's by Fenty and it's the mocha mommy it's her what is this one called this is the sunset stalker I think sunset stalker bronzer and I love this bronzer I'm about to hit pan and when I'm doing my foundation routine like my just regular foundation regular foundation I do not contour I don't contour. When I'm going like more glam, I do it then. I don't contour. If that's what you want to do, then that's fine. But um, this is just my foundation routine. When I don't contour, I only bronze. And this is just going to add some warmth to my skin. And maybe like a little bit of cute. But I just go right in the cheeks. I use an angled brush. This is from Sedona Lace. Where is Sedona Lace? I want to make another video. Like a... Where is the beauty community? I was looking for makeup videos when I was like, I wasn't feeling that well, like, hmm, it's a couple, like a month ago. And I was like, where, why am I scrambling to find new makeup videos? Like, where are the makeup videos? Then I'm going to just go ahead and add some setting powder. This is not necessary to me, but if you're oily, girl, go ahead and get the powder. But this is a Laura Mercier Candle Glow um, setting powder. And this one's a pretty light powder. And I'm just gonna use it like, I'm just gonna like swirl my brush in like that, grab the product and just dust over my face and just set the parts that like, just the outer parts that I didn't really put the on. Boom. And, and I'm just gonna use a blush. 
am just going to use from this MAC palette. I'm so sorry. I don't know the names. They kind of like scratched off. But it's just a MAC palette that I blend. I'm going to use this Laura Mercier. This is actually a blush brush. But people use it for other reasons. And I'm actually going to use this pretty. I don't know. I'm going to mix these two. This orange and this color together. But yeah. Like what happened to the beauty community? I probably want to do a video. Like where is it? Like people are not doing makeup anymore. Which is fine. Like I change is good. There's nothing wrong with like changing or. I guess adapting the people would say um to things but I personally love makeup and making makeup videos so it doesn't matter what other videos I add to my channel or what other content I add to my channel I will always do makeup but it just shows you how not everyone but I feel like how some people they kind of just go on with whatever that's popular I don't feel like most people they started out like that, but hey, it's whatever. But so you still have the ones like Jackie Ina, Tiny Infamous, Painted by Spencer, Queen Marie. Like they still create makeup, and I love that. Um, so I'm gonna take the Max Cosmetics highlighter. I don't know if we are officially done with highlighters, but I cannot leave. Oops, I cannot leave highlighters out of my routine. Um, and I'm just going to take, this is like a Sigma tapered brush. I love using like a smaller brush for highlighter because it doesn't overpower it. So I just add it to the highest points of my face like so. And the bridge of my nose. And, and then I just add it on my forehead. Oh, of course the cubic glow. This is like my favorite part. <laughs> And then the chin. And I love when my cheeks kiss. That's the foundation part basically. And I like to go in and use a setting spray. Setting sprays are good. It sets the makeup into place. Also, if you have to use like a lot of powder because you may be oily or hot or whatever the case may be, if you still have that powdery look, use a setting spray. This is the Charlotte Tillsbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I like swallowed some. Ugh, nasty. Mm. Mm. Brown a little bit. I'm gonna add my lip. I'm just gonna do just like a regular go-to. I love chestnut by Mac. I recommend any person who is of color to get this. It is amazing. And the lip color, I don't know if I'm going to use peach stock. I don't know. I think I'm going to use, I can use peach stock in a minute. Peach stock by MAC. I haven't used it in so long. MAC is still, in my opinion, the queen of lipsticks or the king of lipsticks, whatever. Like, they have the best lipsticks. And this is the Fenty... This is the Fenty Beauty. This is her gloss bomb. I love Fenty Beauty glosses. They are non-sticky and they last. So this is the Sweet Mouth. Like, how long are we gonna take it to use this? Like, this is bomb. And I always get on applicator dirty. I don't even care. My foundation. Hey you guys have it. This is my foundation routine. I do not do a foundation routine on the daily. Um, I don't wear makeup every single day, but when I do do a foundation, this is what I go to. Foundation, foundation, concealer, bronzer, gloss, and that's pretty much it. Um, and I just did them on my eyes. I typically probably would just do like a bronzer on my eyes and like some mascara. I do not wear false lashes every day. I can do it. I cannot do it. So I do not wear false lashes every single day. I actually don't even like applying them sometimes, but I love how they look. So yeah, this is my foundation routine. Foundation isn't mandatory for anyone. It's literally kind of like an asset or something that is just really fun to do or if you want to just get you know glammed up foundation is something that is not needed and you do not have to put all these steps in your foundation i think you're just fine with foundation the lightweight foundation this is just how i do my foundation routine so thank you guys for watching i'm going to put a comment down below so what other videos you want to see i know charlotte they are coming okay they're coming don't forget to subscribe and click the bell as well and 
yeah and my upload dates are mondays and saturdays so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one